The Mariana Trench is a dark, remote and largely unexplored area. Its terrain features steep, rocky walls. The conditions are extreme with immense pressure, near freezing temperatures and complete darkness. For a long time, scientists believed that life in these ocean depths was impossible due to these hostile conditions. But now we know there are a lot of strange species lurking in those dark depths. Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the Earth's surface in the Western Pacific Ocean, running north to south in a crescent shape. It contains the Earth's deepest point called the Challenger Deep, which is approximately 11 kilometers deep. This trench is not just the deepest part of the ocean, it also happens to be one of the most ancient seabeds on Earth at 180 million years old. The extreme depth of the Mariana Trench and other oceanic trenches is caused by subduction. This is where on the boundary of two converging tectonic plates, one descends down into Earth's mantle, creating a deep trough. Because of the difficulty and cost of exploring this zone, current knowledge is limited. These depths of the deep sea can reach pressures of above 1000 times the pressure at sea level. This not only makes great depths very difficult to reach without mechanical aids, but also provides a significant difficulty when attempting to study any organisms that may live in these areas, as their cell chemistry will be adapted to such vast pressures. As it is always dark down there, so instead of using vision to orient themselves, the animals living there are able to smell their surroundings and sense vibrations in the water. Arrowtooth eels are found up to a depth of 4,800 meters. The males of these eels can reach more than 3 feet in length. Various species of cusk eels have also been seen throughout the Marianas Trench, where they are very common up to depths of nearly 6,000 meters. Grenadier fish have been recorded at depths of up to 7,000 meters. They are among the most common fish in the deep sea. They rely on their sense of smell to find food. These fish are usually up to 1 to 2 feet long, but some have been reported up to 3 feet in length. The deepest living fish ever found is in the Mariana Trench 8,000 meters below the ocean's surface. The Mariana snailfish is up to a foot long and they make a living in total darkness and at crushing pressures that can reach 800 times more than at sea level. These fish are pushing themselves to the limit of depths they are expected to tolerate. Scientists have estimated that the maximum depth limit for fish to survive is between 8,200 to 8,400 meters. The snailfish's small, pink and scaleless body hardly seems capable of surviving in such a punishing environment but this fish is full of surprises. The animal appears to dominate in this ecosystem, going deeper than any other fish and exploiting the absence of competitors by gobbling up the plentiful invertebrate prey that inhibit the trench. Each of the more than 400 known snailfish species adapts to where it lives, from shallow waters to extreme depths. Each trench has its own snailfish. Once they have evolved to cope in a trench, they cannot decompress to get from one trench to another. At the bottom of the Mariana Trench where no fish can survive, sea cucumbers and tiny flea-like crustaceans known as amphipods are the most abundant animals. Research indicates they scavenge on debris floating down from the upper ocean zones. One unusually large species of amphipods can reach up to 13 inches in length. There are also strange saucer-sized animals called xenophyophores. These look like coral, but are actually a single cell with multiple nuclei that feeds like an amoeba by engulfing small particles of ocean debris. Food in the Mariana Trench is extremely limited because the deep gorge is far from land. Terrestrial plant material rarely finds its way into the bottom of the trench, and dead plankton sinking from the surface must drop thousands of meters to reach the Challenger Deep. Instead, some microbes rely on chemicals, while other creatures gobble marine life that's below them on the food chain. The deep sea is one of the most fascinating and least explored areas of the ocean floor. It is thought that only around 5% of the creatures that live in the deep sea have been discovered, which means that there are still many mysteries 
वेटिंग टू बी डिस्कवर्ड